Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Gonzalez from Cult of Pedagogy. I just wanted to, to share something with you. I'm, I'm into chapter one of our summer reading book, Make It Stick. And uh, if you're reading this with us, the, the deadline to finish, if you want to, I don't know, be on the same track as everybody else is July 15th. But I thought I would try something and just pop in every once in a while and give you kind of a, I don't know, little commentary on what I'm reading. And if you're around the same place that I am and, and you want to add your own comments, then you can do that in the comments below. So I'm just going to do this on Facebook and maybe Twitter if I can figure out how to get it onto Twitter. So, okay, chapter one is about testing, but it is not about standardized testing or anything like that. It's about testing as a learning tool. Have you ever taught something to somebody or learned something yourself and you get far enough along where you want somebody to test you on it you know you got uh, enough so that you start to feel like I could actually answer some questions on this well there's definitely something to that uh, the research says this if if you want your students to retain information longer and better then build in periodic um, periods of, of practice tests for them uh, students who are given a bunch of material and then only tested at the end of it show much, much greater uh, loss of the material and poor retention than if they are given sort of practice tests periodically as they go along. The idea is kind of the same as um, like a flight simul simulator, like when an air airline pilot, imagine an airline pilot just sits and reads books about... Um, about flying and never actually has to get into the flight simulator and practice their flying. It's the same idea. If you're not put into a slightly stressful situation where you have to sort of recall the information, uh, then you don't learn it as well. So practice testing is actually a really effective learning tool, an instructional tool, um, not necessarily a tool for measuring learning at the end, but for actually getting students to retain information. So the takeaway that I got from this chapter so far is when you're instructing, if you can build in quick little quizzes of any sort, not even for a grade or anything, just to have students practice and test their knowledge, they will actually learn it better. So that is my tip for now. And wow, that piece of hair is really sticking out. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I'm just loving this book. If you have not picked up yet, I'm only on chapter one. And uh, so go get it. Uh, there, if you, um, yeah, if you go to Call to Pedagogy right now, I've got a picture of it in the sidebar. Make it stick. You can just click on that and you'll go right to um, where you can get it. So thank you. Have a great day.